Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and we're currently playing March of the Eagles. Oh yeah, you can see how well I did in Bavaria. I actually played 16 years beyond the end of the game. The game ends at 1820. But, um, yeah, welcome to the new Bavaria. <laughs> Look at that shit. Uh, what a weird, weird world. Sweden and Russia are at war. Look, Sweden actually won their war against Russia. They took all this shit. But now Russia's kicking Sweden's ass. Anyway, back to Austria. Ooh. So, we left off after defeating the Ottomans in a really long war. It took about a year and a half to complete that war. But it's totally worth it. We got two new vassals. We gained some new lands for Austria and the Balkans. And now we might turn our sights somewhere else. We'll see. What we do is really going to be dependent on our relations with other people. Like, relations with Russia are really good. Relations with France, not so good. Um, hmm. Well, France is at war, right? Yeah. And Prussia is currently fucking up Sweden, which means we might have a good opportunity to go to war with Prussia here. Hey, they got the sorting to work right. Yay. Uh, Prussia's sitting at 71k. We have 261,000 troops. So, yeah, we're gonna go to war with Prussia. Do you have any, like, strong allies or anything? Best relations are Great Britain. How's our relations to Britain? Or actually better relations to them. Alright. Um, okay, we've already sent somebody to France. I assume we sent it to increase relations. I wish there was some way to keep track of that. When you hit the increase relation button, it says it's going to spend a year increasing relations by a little bit every month. But uh, you, there's no indication of that. Like, I don't see it on this list anywhere. Garrisons, supplies, armies. No, so there's nothing in here about, you know, where your people are increasing or, you know, sabotaging relations. But whatever. Okay, Bavaria, are you still protected by anyone? By France, damn it. If they were just guaranteed by Prussia, now would be the time to go to war with them, take out them, get them as a vassal, and go to war with Prussia at the same time. But no, it's not going to happen. Alright, we probably don't need the 30k down there. Why don't you guys come on up here, and we'll move you up there. Let's see, 24k. Oh, you're still moving. Okay. Oh, you still have men to get back. Alright, we'll wait for you to get all your, your people back before we'll go to war. So we'll just put the speed all the way up, and our armies can recoup their losses. Are you still moving? No, you're not moving. Okay. Um, well, we will need someone over here to invade the small provinces. They have this up here, too. Can we get access to you guys? Very likely. Sweet. Uh-huh. Okay, so we have access to Bavaria. This means we can attack Munster. Do we have access to France? Uh, I don't know. We'll check in a minute. All right. You're not going to take any attrition there. Wow, you need to replenish so many people. Too. You too. Everyone needs replenishing, so our manpower is a problem right now. Hmm. We do not have access to France. Oh, Sicily joined the war against France. Yeah, that's not smart. France already took half of Sicily. Now they're going to annex them. <laughs> Someone actually complained about the way I pronounce annex. They're saying it should be annex. I really don't care. <laughs> I just like that people get them. I just cannot believe how upset people get over words. It's amazing. Oh, you did this wrong. You did that wrong. Eh. Oh, it's amazing. France will guarantee Tunisia's independence. Tripolitania. You're, you're guaranteed as well. No, fuck off, Ottomans. Egypt is not guaranteed by anyone. Perfect. Okay, you've arrived in Stuttgart. Do you need any replenishments? Yeah, you do. Everyone needs replenishments. Wow. Reinforcements, I mean. Truce will last until March of next year. Alright, actually, <laughs> we might be in March before our troops are ready. Alright, so we can pick a new idea. Fire would give us big shift. I want that eventually, because beyond that, there's infantry defense bonus. 
What about Austrian ideas? What do we got? Prestige, National Revolt. Man, those suck. Those first two, Prestige and National Revolt, are just worthless. But I do like numbers 3, 4, and 5. National Tax, Morale of Armies, those are all good. Uh, what about... Command ideas, diplomats, frontage, yeah. Uh, where's the ones that give me cheaper buildings? Build cost, minus 33%. Yeah, let's go for cheaper buildings. Because I'll be doing a lot of building in this in this campaign. Speaking of building, let's go ahead and build some more depots. Depots. Alright. Oh man, this is exciting. Oh, I already have one there. Yay. That's what she said. Okay. Wow. I'm just... Yeah. France wants access. Sure. Don't cancel it. They canceled it. So they asked for access, they got it, and then they canceled it. I mean, that's just retarded. Thank you, France, for being retarded. And now our manpower just... Oh, goodness. We need, need 68,000 men to replenish our armies. That is crazy. Is anyone taking attrition? Yes, you are. Why? Because Russia is standing on your face. Then go to Radom. Shit. Don't let Russia fuck you up. I don't mind giving Russia access, just so long as they're not standing on my face the whole time. You know, like these guys, they're standing on my face. Mm, let's go to Krakow. Just get out of Russia's way. I don't know where Russia's going. They're going to go fight France somewhere, but hopefully they won't give me too much attrition on the way. Yep, there they go. Go fight Russia. I mean, go fight France. Yes, yes. King in Denmark. Blurb, blurb, blurb. Yeah, it's going to be... Wow, March is coming up. Still need 60,000. Wow. And this is the Russian invasion of Switzerland. You saw it first here, folks. Uh, Shen has morning coffee, and Russia invades Switzerland. Oh, we have a port now in Split. Very nice. Still need more money, though, for more ports. We eventually want ports on all these little provinces. Because that will allow us to build ships. What are we building here? Depot, 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 depot. What are you building here? First rate ship of the line. Good. Still no uh, naval commanders, but that's fine. Yay, first rate ship of the line is done. Go join your buddies. And it's already past March, which means we can go back to war with the Ottomans again if we want. Uh, how are they doing? Prussia's still at 70k. Ottomans have about 70k as well. Yeah, well. I guess... I just don't want to get in a situation where we need to replenish our troops again. Oh, these guys are already taking attrition. I guess that's not a very good prop. Not 81k. Yeah, not a very good province to uh, regroup in. Alright. Uh, fuck, man. I moved my troops up there for no reason. No raisins! Yeah, let's come on down. Fuck it. Uh, I will keep two armies up here. You guys, what are these supply limits? 128. 90. Yeah, why don't you go over there? Uh, these guys can come down, I guess. And, um, yeah, should be fine.
I hate to go for just another war with the same enemy, but whatever. I mean, they're going to be easier to beat. And let's get this started. I want you in Belgrade, and I want you in Tuzla. So the problem here is we're not going to get any reinforcements at all during this war, just because we don't have any. In fact, if you want to be badass, we could go to war with Prussia at the same time. It's not like they have much of a military. They have 80k. Hmm. You know what? Let's, let's just go to war with Prussia. Fuck them. Fuck them all. Alright, we're at war on the north and the south at the same time. We are just going to be bad motherfuckers. You can go to... Actually, no. Um, They're going to have some troops up here in Sweden, but they're also going to have some troops at home. And they have the ability to recruit a whole lot more troops. So, I'm going to hold off for a second. We're going to get this army to be the one that gets in... No, we'll send this army in first. This guy's can hang back. I just want to see if they bring a stack, I want to be able to defend against it. Oh, we can do another port. Let's do one here. Alright. Ports cost 500 bucks or whatever. 3,000 defenders. That's a lot of defenders. And you guys can come down to there. Okay, so the Ottomans pieced out Persia. They took Tabriz. It's fine. So they're going to bring their armies up now. That's good. Seven, uh, 6,200 defenders up there. Yeah, Prussia puts a lot of troops in their forts. Hey, Saxony's invading. Okay, there's 10,000 Prussians. They're coming to Brieg, 4th of June. So on the 3rd of June, I will come over there. There we go. See if we can catch them. Oh, yeah, we got them. If I can secure victories over these smaller stacks, I'll be super happy. 2,000 troops. It's probably a yellow, right? Yeah, it's not green. We'll just hold it. But if we can secure victories over their smaller stacks, it will, it will slowly deplenish their manpower, which is very good for us. I don't really want to stick around with that army. I'm going to pull back. They might come over and attack with this army. No, they're just going back and forth. Sometimes the AI does this. It's a little buggy. They all just march back and forth between these two provinces. I've seen it so many times. It's really weird. That's what she said. Alright, you're back. You're going to heal up. You're fully healed. We could come over. And let's just come over and attack these guys. Yeah, like that. Okay, we have a breakthrough here. The walls are busted, so let's just go ahead and siege that fort. You take almost no losses if the walls are busted. So it's good to wait for them to go down. That's what she said. Oh, he's changed. He's going to Eager now. Alrighty. Hey, let's go attack them. There's only 800 of them. And they're dead. Let's attack them too. Oh, oh 1,000. Yep, go for it. Oh, they outwitted me. They got past. Damn them. Okay, these are easy. Let's go over there. And then we're going to use this army to go to Constantinople. Oh, we caught them. Nice. 
just little things like that are going to make this war easier on us. Yeah, they're already down to 66k out of... They were at 78 before. And I think they have their main army up here in Sweden, so that's good for us. Let's go, come on up to Dresden. If they don't want to fight us head on, then we can go take out their cities, I guess. Okay, let's head on down Constantinople. That will give us, I think it's about 20% war score just for that one town. Yeah, they have 10,000 defenders in Dresden. Fuck's sake, man. So this is um, Prussia's satellite, Saxony. And Saxony is the one that actually has troops here. 22. They have about 37k. I guess all told they have about 50k, I think, in their total force. And that's a satellite of Prussia, so... When we're done with Prussia, we're going to demand that they release their satellite, which will give that satellite to us. So Saxony is going to be our satellite after that war, if all goes well. Which is good, because they have a decent army. Alright, you, you're done. Come on down. Still just 1k. Hmm. Coming along well. Let's head down to Pristina, I guess. No, we'll go to Nice. It's fine. It's fine. Decisions, decisions. Alright, so we caught one of their armies. Should die quick. It's dead. And on to the capital. Alright, they have... 15,000 defenders in the capital, but uh, we should be able to hold on and take it. Oh, they're actually sieging this time. That is good news for us. Uh, we're at 12% on Dresden, and I'm tempted to pull away and attack them. No, we'll let them sit there for a minute. We'll bring this army over, though, to Pilsen. Metternich Chancellor. Count Clemens von Metternich has been appointed Chancellor and Foreign Minister of Austria. He replaced Johann Philipp von Stadion, who had argued for a war of revenge against France, relying on patriotic elan. Metternich is more flexible and has been ambassador at both Berlin and Paris. Okay, very cool. So we get National Manpower Modifier plus 5% for a year. Alright. And we arrived in Nice. Take it down. And if they actually leave, I will attack with this small army. No, they're not leaving. That's okay. As long as we get uh, Dresden to fall quickly, we'll be fine. Then we can attack them with both armies at the same time. That'll be great. We're also making good progress in Glywitz, or however it's pronounced. Oh, they're attacking Stuttgart. Interesting. What are they up to in forces? 72. Yeah, but they're going through their... Prussia is burning through their reserve manpower. They had like 75k, now they're down to 30, 37k. And that means... Oh, wow, the Ottomans are up to 120k. Yeah. Well, that's what happens. But, uh, yeah, it's all good. I think we're fine. Oh, they're leaving. They're leaving. Oh, they're going to go attack someone. Okay, whatever. Ow. That was my neck popping a lot, if you heard that. <laughs> 
Alright, Dresden is about to fall. Very good. One thing I would like to have from uh, Hearts of Iron is the day and night time clock thing. It shows you whether it's day or night currently, and it shows you the passage of time. I like that. Looks really cool, especially when we're only going, you know, one day at a time like we are right now. We're in slow mo. Alright, these guys are just going to keep advancing, but I'm going to take them to Thessaloniki and I'm going to bring them to Edirne because I want to be able to defend in Constantinople because they have 120,000 guys now. Yeah, and they're going to be coming to save their capital. They're going to try, but we're going to try to block them. And I hope we're not stretching it too thin here going for two wars at once. Okay, Dresden has fallen. Move on to Leipzig. Not as many defenders there. Uh, let's take this stack over here and get rid of these clowns. Like that. Perfect. Glywitz has fallen. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, kill the d defenders. Kill them. And then go Krakow. You can do this on your own. We don't need the other army. You guys, let's go... Stay in Carlsbad. No big plans for them. God, that's a nice town. It's got a 128k limit. It's brilliant. Okay, Thessaloniki, take it down. Um, you know what, let's just quickly take all these out over here. Oh, they're going for Dresden. Okay. Um, Leipzig is already busted. Then take it down. And then attack them at Dresden. And we'll pinch them in. Looks like they're trying to run this way. See what they do. Alright, we've attacked them. And then we'll come and pinch them in like this. Are they leaving already? Where are they running? They're running to Chemnitz. Alright, we'll both go to Chemnitz then. Lol. Belgrade has fallen. Fantastic. You guys are going to run to Edirne right now. As a small backup in case they do come to save Constantinople. Alright, they're trying to run away. Follow. Okay, we chased them out of Krakow and Radon. Very good. Looks like they're going to head over here and over here. So let's uh, cut them off like that. And hopefully we can... I'm not sure what they're doing here. They're running to Awe, or however you pronounce that. Oh, there we go. We caught them. Oh, yeah. Slaughter. <laughs> oh, goodness. So much slaughter. Now they're running to Leipzig, which we've already conquered, which means they're not actually going to Leipzig. They're probably going to Torgo. So we're going to head back to Carlsbad and replenish some of those units. Sitting on 21 with Prussia and 18 with the Ottomans. We actually have more war score with Prussia for some reason. Maybe it's just all those troops we've killed. Yeah, they're heading there. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Come on in, Prussia. Come on in. The water's warm. Let's go attack them. Okay, they did indeed go to Torgo. Kind of figured they would. And they're dead. So that was their entire army. That was Saxony's entire army. It's gone. Fantastic. Okay, you're still running to Athens. Very good. Okay, we caught them over here. They're dead. You guys have just about two grand to replenish. How's Prussia on troops? Still at 70. 
The Ottomans have been building troops like crazy, and Prussia has not. In fact, they're not even fucking up Sweden anymore. So they might be marching their troops back through Denmark. They probably have... Do you have... Are you getting access to Prussia? No, you're not. Granting military... They're granting access to the Ottomans for some unknown fucking reason. Well, if you're not giving access to Prussia, then Prussia's gonna have to slowly bring their troops back by boat, which is gonna take them for fucking ever. So that's good news for us. We're no longer gonna sit in Carlsbad. Let's go up to Gotbus. Um, just start taking shit out quickly. And you guys can come around. Around. Like this. To there. Take them out and then go to Breslau. Alright. So this war on two fronts, so far, so good. Leipzig. Alright, Athens, take it down. Okay, here's some of their armies. There we go. So they're bringing 40k right up the gut. They may be going for Erdirn, or they may try to free up some of these provinces that we took. We'll see what they do, but we do have an army coming, and we have this one we could bring up from Athens right now, but we're going to keep them in Greece for a minute. Do you have good generals? Yeah, he's pretty good. Now they're going this way. Interesting. Um, you go this way as well, then. We'll try to cut them off somewhere. I don't want them getting ahead of us. That would suck. We arrived in Gotbus. Not a whole lot of defenders there. Hmm. Okay. Um... I guess we could try for that really quick. And if it fails, so what? Yeah, they're gonna run. Okay, take it out. Saxony has rallied the troops. Okay. And the troops are dead. I think they were just building units there. That's probably what happened. It's more likely. Okay, Greece has fallen. Alright, yeah, now they have 50k. That's fine. Let's start bringing these guys up. And it looks like they want to engage 22 against 40, and they're going to cross a river to do it. Oh, they're going to arrive first. Alright, so they're going to arrive first. They're going to have mountain defense. Mountains? Plains, mostly. Well, there's a chance we'll hit them with no, no penalty for attacking. So we're going to try to do that. Uh, yeah, all these generals are decent, except this guy. He's an idiot. But he's probably the best idiot we have. <laughs> so we're going to attack them on the 14th. Interesting. Should be okay. We have almost twice their numbers. Oh, and we actually got there first. So they are attacking across a river, and they have lack of supplies. So this should be an easy battle here. Should be. They're even missing two generals. Nice. Oh yeah, slaughter. Slaughter. They lost 13,000, we lost 490. They are now running to Staragoza. Which is up there. You know what? We'll chase them. I want to take that army out if I can. And these guys can do the cleanup on whatever's left. Looks like they're going to group up over here. That's fine. Oh, Stuttgart's falling. Hold on. Oh, they're still running. Oh, they're running up here. Okay, that's fine. Stuttgart, 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 Stuttgart. Oh, God, Stuttgart. Please don't fall. That's what we can use this army for. Go to Stuttgart. Oh, but it's at 50%. It's going to fall before we get there. Damn it. Yep, Stuttgart just fell. That sucks. We'll get it back, though. Don't worry. Can we catch them? Oh, please tell me we're going to catch them. They're leaving on the 28th. We're going to get there on the 25th. Yep, we're going to catch them. Cool. Ah, oh, but they, they evaded us. Damn it.
Let's see if we can't catch him here. Yes, perfect. Get rid of him. Slaughter. Okay, so they did group up, and they have another little bit. Alright. So they're grouping up. They're going to have a decent-sized army here. Let's see if we can't do something about that. Because once we're done with this army up here, we should be able to group these guys into like 80k and then just stomp them. At least that's, you know, this is <laughs> this is the wonderizing that goes on in my head. I'm thinking ahead two turns, and every single time I do that, I always think with, you know, gold glitter and stars and smiling unicorns and stuff. And everything just goes right in my head. <laughs> and then, you know, shit all just falls apart. <laughs> Uh, hold on a sec, I'm getting some more coffee here. Get my, my nice fake sugar. It's delicious. And... Some vanilla. Because if you have coffee without vanilla, you're doing it wrong. Well, sometimes I use hazelnut, but today it's vanilla. Mmm. Ooh, that burns good. Ooh. Unpause here. But yeah, I'm, I've got, you know, shit wrong with my eyes when I'm looking in the future. Got bus under attack. Oh, my God. yeah, they built another army and got bus. That's fine. 25% on the Ottomans. Okay. Okay, you are, yeah, they're going to try to attack us here because the city has, the city has 15,000 defenders, so if they attack us with this army, then they will technically have 50,000 people attacking us at the same time, so that could pose a problem. I may even try to run across the channel here, because, uh, well, we are making progress, we're at 12%, but that's not significant progress, and we've lost about 20,000 guys here, what a pain in the ass. Um, I'm tempted to siege that down right now. Or just run them down here. But if I do, that army in there is just going to heal up. So I don't want to do that. So we're just going to wait for these guys to come over. We should be okay, I think. You know, just crossing my fingers and all that jazz. You guys have a good general? No, you don't. He's terrible. Um, that guy's good. Yeah, he's terrible. Oh well. So Prussia's invading with tiny little armies because their main stack is probably still in Sweden or on a boat. Alright, so they're definitely attacking. Can I get out before then? Probably not. They're going to arrive in two days. No, and there's no way I'm going to get out of this. So if they defeat me, then so be it. I have backup coming. Oh, a new idea. Let's yeah, keep going improved economic economics. Because I want my economy to prosper, not stagnate. And the big day has arrived. Here we go. 34 versus 38. But this is their home province, so they should know more about the land. Oh, it looks pretty even. We're losing more now. Oh yeah, we're getting slaughtered now. Um, yeah. Yeah, holy shit, we're getting slaughtered. Okay, let's run away to Adirn. And then we can use this army to attack that, that army. Put you on avoid battles if possible. No, they caught us. Yeah, we're still losing too many troops. Are they chasing us? Yes, they are. All right. We will do this. caught us again, that's fine. Still can't retreat. When battles start like that, you only have a small amount of time uh, before you can retreat. And once you retreat, um, I mean, once the, 
once the timer's up, you can just exit the battle, and that's what I've been doing here. We lost a lot of troops, but so did they. It wasn't all that bad for us, which is nice. So we're actually going to redirect these guys back to con. I would just want to keep the attack on for that city. We can regroup our troops in Adirn. Take out some small stacks on the way. Yeah, they're going to retreat. Good. Oh, we caught them. Oh, fantastic. And uh, they got this back. That's fine. It's going to be like that with them because they have all these little small armies everywhere. Alright, Stuttgart, take it back. And now we can actually use this to attack. So let's do that. Uh, this should be a slaughter here. It's not that much of a slaughter, but we are winning. I'll take it. And they're retreating to their capital. That's fine. And you guys can just heal up. Actually, I'm going to trade them with this army. So we can take the uh, more replenished army back down to Constantinople. On Spock. Very good. Yep, just take it slowly. That's what she said. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so they are pinched in. They have they have about 27,000 troops sitting in their capital, and uh, we're going to definitely need this second stack to come help. Okay, they built another single stack army. Good for them. Prussia sitting on 66k troops. The Ottomans are down to 70. Wow, we killed a lot of Ottomans, didn't we? My goodness. Okay, the smaller army has arrived, so the bigger army can come party. Let's pinch them in. Let's go this way. Yeah. We're actually replenishing troops while we're in enemy territory. That's crazy. Okay, that was easy. Good, just go to Adirn. And you guys can start the invasion, I guess. Um, yeah, go across the strait. See if we can't get over there. Their ships probably won't let us, but there's a small chance we can sneak through. You guys are going to Adirn. How are we doing? These things still no progress on the walls. That's amazing. But we did keep our 12% on Constantinople. That's important. If you get back to a city quickly enough, you will keep your siege progress, even if you aren't sieging it the entire time. So that's cool. I like that. I would consider that a feature. And we have another 500 bucks, so let's do another port. Please let us through. They're not gonna, are they? Nope. Let me through. Alright, we have got bus. Very good. Now we can use this army. Wow, it needs a lot of replenishing. We can use this army to go fuck up the uh, Prussians that are grouping down here. Like this. Torgo has the walls busted. Very good. Once we uh, clean up these armies here, Prussia should be pretty much toast. Did we not get across? I don't think we did. Now we got blocked again. Fucking hell, man. They just keep moving their ships over here. And that prevents us from getting across. Try again. Oh, please catch them. Oh, there's their army. Can we kill them? Hopefully. This guy's not a very good general, though. It's pretty even. Oh, we caught the Prussians. Very good. That's great news. 
This one I'm concerned. Oh, we got a cross. Hooray. This one I'm concerned about, but we'll see how it goes. It looks like we're winning. Um, sort of. We lost one of our flanks. They lost two of their um, lines. Well, we'll see, I guess. Shit. Still outnumber them two to one. And we won over here. Reduced that army by a lot. And they're running to Glewitz. Come out to Radom after that. Just keep cleaning up these small armies. That'll give us some decent war score and reduce their manpower. Torgo, hurry up and fall. I need you. We've won in Constantinople. Very good. Yep. Um, okay. They have an army arriving in the 6th of February. That's so far away, it doesn't matter. Alright, we won in Constantinople. We lost a lot. They lost more. But the important thing is the siege continues. Actually, our army is no longer big enough to siege. That is hilarious. Well, I guess we'll bring both armies down. What? We lost in Constantinople? You're kidding me. 9k versus 22k. Well, we have another army coming, so... Should be alright, I guess. Just a pain in the ass. You guys hurry up in Torgo? Holy shit. Okay, Radom's done. Sitting on 23 and 34. We're doing good. We're doing good. Can we just piece these guys out? All I want is Saxony right now. No, they don't want it. It's 46 war score to give up Saxony. Alright, alright. Fair enough. I really need to swap armies here. Okay, Torgo's fallen. Fantastic. That didn't take too long at all. So take out these small armies. That should be easy. And then come down here. And you're sitting in Radom. You need to replenish. So we'll let you replenish a little bit. That's fine. Oh, that was easy. And, we're, yeah, just kill these little guys. They got nothing. Ansbach has fallen. Good. Alright, let's move on to Munster. Sweden's even over here taking out Prussian shits. Nice. Go Sweden. Alright, so Prussia's main stack is definitely up here. They're taking shit out up there. And they took out a fort. So yeah, they definitely have a stack up there. What are they at? 65k. Yeah, we're fine. Got bus. I'm worried about that, but we're close. We should be able to get there in time. Yep. In fact, they're running. But we caught them anyway. And we slaughtered them. Yay! Can we catch these guys? Probably not. Nope. Alright, let's go down here. Okay, you have replenished. Then start the invasion. It's going to take a while to invade Prussia, so might as well get started. Ismit has the walls busted. Just take it out. And of course, they backed it up with another army, but we still took it out. We just lost a lot of troops because they reinforced it. Let's see if we can't take that army out because they're being dickholes. Fuck you, Ottomans. 
Alright, we've arrived in Munster. It has a lot of defenders. We will wait. 40% on the Ottomans. Very nice. And we caught them, but they're escaping. Then, um... Try to catch them, I guess? Don't let them get their morale up. Fuck, they got Godbus back already? Holy shit. 